How's it going everyone? Today I'm playing some GeoGuessr duels against ZigZag. We played on the map Unexplored World, which features countries that don't have regular Google Street View, so it was really cool to play on duels. We played three games with 10,000 health, no multipliers, and no healing. We also did a video on ZigZag's channel doing some Canada-US practice, so make sure to go check that out, there's a link in the description. With all that said, let's play back these duels, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, here we go with our first round versus ZigZag on Unexplored World. I have not played this map before, so I'm not too sure what to expect, but we'll see if I can take him down here. We got 10,000 health, no multipliers or anything. And, okay. The Mexican Taste. Interesting. I don't think we're going to be in Mexico, because this map has, you know, countries that don't have street views, so... Probably not going to be there. Um, I could see this being somewhere else in Central America. Somewhere kind of close to Mexico. I could say maybe... Maybe Belize, because this is in English, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, we do have a lot of English signs here, so I'm kind of thinking Belize, something English-speaking close to Mexico like that. I think I'm going to make my guess here. I'm going to I'm gonna go in Belize City, and I, I really hope I have the right idea here. Not too sure. We'll find out. And we only have 10 seconds after each person guesses, so let's see if I force his hand. And nice, it is Belize. Okay, I'm really proud of that one. Okay, fantastic start here. Let's go on to round number two and try to keep up the good work. Alright, I see some interesting script here. Not too sure what that is yet. Let's take a look at other clues. Oh yeah, what is this? This could be the script they use in Myanmar, maybe? Not too sure, though. It kind of reminds me of that. We got these train tracks here. Yeah, it definitely feels South Asian to an extent. Oh, he's guessed. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go in Myanmar here. Let's, uh, let's see. It is, okay. And he was also there. Alright. So we had the same idea. Get a, a couple hundred more points there, so that's not bad. We take what we can get here. Uh, let's go on to round number three. Okay, I'm seeing some tall buildings. I see a pizza hut as well. So this is tropical. We got some mountains. Uh, looks like we're driving on the left. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, can't really read too many of these signs here, but we do have some English. Best price guarantee... Man, these, these mountains are kind of throwing me. I, I kind of was thinking the Caribbean here, but I don't know that you'd really get such a mountainous scene like this. I mean, we could be in the British Virgin Islands or the US Virgin Islands, where they drive on the left. Maybe more British Virgin Islands, because there is street view on most of these roads here, so... Maybe more on the British side is better. So I'm thinking I'm gonna just guess here in, uh, Road Town, and we'll see. Zigzag's made his guess, so here we go. Oh, no. Wow, he had a great guess there, Trinidad. Okay. Man, so at least it was Caribbean. I lose a few thousand points there, but that's fine. Alright, on to round number four here. Seems like a slightly hilly place. Let's check on this truck here. Primarschule. That almost sounds German. Interesting. There is some Arabic script here, so... German and Arabic. What would that mean? The landscape here kind of reminds me of something like... Lebanon or something something like that. Not too sure though. I'm thinking Lebanon, maybe maybe Palestine as well. Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. It's gonna be somewhere Arab world for sure. I think I'm gonna Oh, he's made his guess. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I should do Lebanon. Oh, I'm gonna go for Lebanon. Let's do it. Nice, it is there. Fantastic. Okay, really proud of that one. Pick up a couple more thousand points there, so we're we're getting close there. Let's see. Hopefully we can get this done in a couple rounds, but you never know. Alright, next one, I'm seeing some Spanish here. Okay, this is a very high quality photosphere, so we should be able to read stuff here. Uh, let's see, come on, anything, anything. Yeah, this is definitely Spanish. Oh, we got a license plate. Costa Rica, okay. Good that we saw that, so I might just guess as fast as I can. Hopefully he didn't catch that. Uh, we'll see though, we'll see. He probably did, <laughs> but you never know, you never know. And he did find it, and he's closer than me. Okay, that did not pay off like I thought it would. <laughs> so we drop another couple hundred points. That's alright. On to round number six here. Okay, looks kind of African first thought. Yeah, definitely thinking that. Okay, okay. It's gonna be hard to read any signs here, but there is a little bit of English. General merchandise. Mart. So, seems like they use English here. That almost looks like the Nigerian flag, but... You'd expect that this wouldn't necessarily be on the map. I guess I guess it could be in a part of Nigeria that doesn't have Street View. I'm not I'm just not too familiar with the the way this map works. The other possibility here is that this is just not Nigeria at all, and that could just be some random thing on the sign. Because there is some other stuff here, but that also looks kinda like the Nigeria flag. And this definitely feels like it too with the divided road. 
Oh man, this this might be a risky guess, but I'm gonna go for it. Ooh. All right, three seconds left. Let's see what he does. Come on. Oh no, oh no. It's Sierra Leone, okay. So we lose 2,600 points. Yeah, Nigeria was not a great idea there. Liberia's a good guess, man. Okay, let's see what we got here. Round seven. Okay, uh, language here. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure actually. We got yellow license plates. Looks like we're driving on the left. Okay, okay. I'm thinking we could be in Laos here, but that would seem kind of strange. But I know they have yellow plates, they drive on the left. Um, these poles could be there, but I don't know. This language is throwing me. That feels very off for Laos here, but man, I'm I'm really not sure what to do here. What else could this be? We could be out in some Pacific island maybe, or uh, I don't know. I just, I'm not sure what countries have yellow plates. I'm trying to think. I know Sri Lanka sometimes, Laos. We do have some stickers on this car. Can this help us? Inspected. Uh, I can't really read anything else here. I was zigzags guest. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do. I really don't. I kind of want to... No, it can't be Sri Lanka. I'm going Laos anyway. Terrible guess. Wow. Okay, we both had no idea. That's Mauritius. I got four points of damage, so we take it, I guess. What a weird round. That was really tough for me. Okay. I guess zigzag struggled there as well. All right, on to round number eight. Okay, we're on top of a blue car here. It doesn't really help much. Uh, this definitely feels back in the Caribbean, I would say. Just with the sort of architectural styles, the multicolored buildings as well. Tropical foliage, pretty flat. So I'm thinking this could be something like the Bahamas or, you know, something, something around here like that. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for the Bahamas. I'm worried it could just be somewhere else in the Caribbean or entirely the other side of the world, so... Let's go for the Bahamas and see if that's right. Oh, man. Oh, it is a little farther. Okay, he was out in Jamaica. That's another good guess, yeah. So he gets a little bit of points there. That's fine, that's fine. It was actually Barbados. That makes sense, okay. Our ninth round here. Let's see what happens. All right, higher quality photos for you this time. That's good, that's good. Oh, I think in Africa here, we get yellow plates driving on the right. Interesting. Oh, and we got a flag. Oh, this is going to test my flag knowledge. Is that... Oh, I feel so stupid for not knowing this flag. No, <laughs> what is that? That's not Sierra Leone. It's not Guinea. That's very embarrassing that I don't know this flag. I'm I'm not good with my flags. I'm I'm like 95% sure that's some African flag. Oh, he's guessed. He probably knows the flag. Oh no, is it Guinea Bissau? I don't know. Oh my god, I just don't know the flag. He wins there because I don't know flags. No. <laughs> this has been a grueling battle, actually. Next one here, we do have cross yellow plates here, all yellow plates. What's that flag? Oh, uh, is it Sierra Leone or is it Gabon? I forget, or is it Gambia? I can't remember which one this is. Oh no, um, I should remember that. It's not, I don't think it's Gambia. I think it's uh, Gabon, no? I think that would make sense. Libreville? Oh, yellow plates. I don't remember having a round in Gabon, so that would also kind of make sense, I feel like. Freetown? It doesn't really look like the Freetown round we had just before, so I'm going to try it. Hopefully he doesn't know the flag either. Uh, Libreville? Would it make sense? I can't see- I didn't actually look for language, but I don't think we see any anyway. So for the best here? Oh man, it was! Let's go! Okay, GG man, GG, well played. GG's. Oh, I didn't know the flag at the end there, I feel so stupid. I man. also didn't know. I was like, oh. I think- I think it might be, so I'm just gonna like put the pressure on because I was like, I was like, is, I was like, is it Sierra Leone or Gabon? Yeah. I was like tossing up between those two. Man, I, yeah, I was, I was so lost there. GG's. Mm -hmm. GG. I had the only round in there that I'd had before was the Costa Rica, um, so I, I just let you guess first. But the, uh, oh, the, yeah. the main thing that made me, <laughs> the main thing that made me confident about this one was that I'd never had a Gabon and I didn't like recognize all yellow plates. So I was like, oh, maybe, maybe because I've never had it before. Um, I'll go there. So I guess I did have a bit of a home ground advantage on this one, I'll say that. <laughs> nice, yeah. I, I was wondering how you got so close in Costa Rica. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. That was that was that was my repeat. Alright, we're starting up our second game. Let's see if I can get a win here. Hopefully I know the flags in this round. <laughs> we'll just have to see. Alright, round one starting up here. Let's go. So looks like we're in the city to start. Okay. Uh, seems like we got a Christian church here. Okay, that's interesting. License plates, um, okay. Not too sure what these are, but they're not the European style. 
We do have a little bit of Arabic as well. Okay, okay. So I'm kind of thinking this could be like Lebanon again here, especially, you know, close to Jerusalem and all that. So that's that's my thought process right now. All right, zigzags guest. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna go Lebanon again here. Let's see. Oh, it is Syria. Okay, I was kind of thinking that. So we get 312 points of damage. Not a bad start, though. At least I was in the right area. So let's go to round two. Okay, let's see. Oh, what are these flags? Not sure what those are. I feel like I should know what that is, but I do not. That looks more like the Bosnia flag. Okay, so we're probably in Bosnia somewhere, because this is pretty clearly Europe, so knowing that this is unexplored, there aren't too many choices in Europe for where there is no street view, so... Yeah, he probably knows it's Bosnia. I'm just going to guess right now. And we'll see if hopefully he, he misses the flag or something, but you never know. Oh, he went Kosovo. Okay, okay, so we do get some points there. That's good, that's good. All right, round three. I'm glad I actually got points there. That's That's nice, so here we go. Next one. Okay, it's pretty mountainous here. Looks like we're driving on the right, I think. Uh, got some graffiti here. Can't really tell what the language is, but it feels maybe European again. Yeah, we could be in Bosnia here <laughs> for a second time. I, I think that might be the case. Or or it's Kosovo. It's I, I can't really tell what the language definitely seems like something you'd get around this area for sure. But beyond that, yeah, not too sure here. Alright, he's guessed. I'm gonna go Bosnia again. If it's Kosovo this time, that's gonna be pretty funny. Let's see. Oh, nice, it is. Okay, good stuff. Back-to-back -back Bosnia is pretty interesting. We get 400 more points there. That's good. Ooh, okay, on to round number four. Here we go. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, looks like Spanish or Portuguese there, so... Oh, beautiful mountains here and everything. Really nice. We got a single yellow line. Oh, not sure in these license plates. Okay, but I'm definitely thinking Latin America somewhere. Got a lot of pine trees over here. Ooh, this could be just Central America somewhere, like Nicaragua, Honduras. That's my first thought is something around here. Foliage seems right in my opinion. It kind of reminds me of Guatemala in a way. So yeah, I could definitely see somewhere in Central America here. I think I'm going to send Honduras. And hopefully that's good. Uh, we'll see. I'm a little worried for like Costa Rica, Panama, but we'll see. It is Panama. Man, okay. <laughs> and we were both in Honduras there. Alright, so we lose 100 points. That's alright. Great minds think alike, as they say. So, let's go to our fifth round. Like a refreshing Caribbean wave in your hands. Okay, are we are we going to be in the Caribbean then? I hope so. <laughs> see, any other clues? Looks like we're driving on the left here. Yeah, based on the way the cars are parked. Seems like we're on the left. Alright. And there is a prevalence of English. Oh man, he's guessed. Okay. This time I might go, I might go Trinidad here. Let's see. Oh, it's Barbados again. Alright, alright. Great guess from Zigzag there, so we'll lose over a thousand there, so... Pretty close right now, it is anyone's game. Alright, round six, let's go. Alright, here... Oh, actually not too sure on the language there. Let's see if we got some more. I think, is this just Arabic? Yeah, it might just be a different font. Okay, these words seem Arabic there. Okay, really amazing architecture, look at that. And there is a flag, okay. Is that Egypt, maybe? I could see, I could see Egypt here, yeah. I'm gonna guess and trust that that's the Egypt flag. I really hope I'm not making the complete wrong guess here. Hopefully he didn't see the flag and is not in Egypt. Nice, okay, he went for Iraq there and it was Alexandria, so we'll pick up a nice amount of points there, almost 3k, that's awesome, that's what you wanna see here. All right, on to round number seven, here we go. Okay, I'm seeing some Cyrillic right now, okay. So right now, yeah, this is some different characters as well than you'd get in like Russian or Ukrainian, so seems like Central Asia somewhere. Astana Bank, yeah, okay, so we're in Kazakhstan. All right, he's guessed, okay. Uh, did I miss anything? Uh, I don't know. Okay, it is Kazakhstan. We were both there, but pretty far off, so not too bad. At least 250. That's fine. We're way out there in Aktau. Okay, here we go with round eight. All right, pretty muddy road here. Let's take a look and see. Uh, definitely seems Asian, and here we got some script. Okay, I think this is uh, Myanmar again. Yeah, looks right. Oh, Zigzag's guest. guessed. Okay, I'm going for Mandalay here. Let's see. Oh, it's farther south. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. So we'll pick up some more points there, so bringing it back to a very close game here. I'm only a thousand ahead, so really anything can happen here. On to our ninth round. Okay. Oh, this is going to be Madagascar. This is actual official coverage. Interesting. 
So I don't know the Madagascar places. I know that there's coverage in Ambanja. I think a town over here somewhere. It might be might be Morandava. I, I think there's stuff around there. Oh, I just I just don't remember which area this one's in. I I don't think it's the Ambanja. And that's pretty risky going so far north as well. I'm gonna go right here in the middle of the west coast, uh, and hopefully that's good. Just don't know the trekkers. I hope Zigzag doesn't know them. And, oh, he didn't get it! Oh, that's not gonna be enough for the win, but we are really close now. He's just gonna have a few hundred points left. Okay. Oh, we gotta concentrate and try to get this done. Uh, some interesting arch sculpture here. Very cool, okay. Uh, seems like a tropical place. Decent sized city, some taller buildings. Oh, we got some scripts. That's uh, something in the Caucasus. Is that... Uh, which script is that? It's not Georgian. Maybe it's Armenian. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go Yerevan here. He'll probably figure this one out too. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it right now. He'll, he'll probably know that it's at least somewhere around here, so... Let's see. Will it be enough to knock him down, though? That's the question. Ooh, okay, he was in Georgia. It was Georgian. Interesting. Okay, he was not in the right place. He was in Tbilisi, but it was Batumi, so I got the language wrong there. That's fine. Uh, 11th round. Got a lovely dog sitting on the side of the road here. Feels kind of Latin American, first thought, but let's look for other clues. Driving on the right. Yep, that works. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking Central America here again. I'm not entirely confident, but I would say maybe, maybe Honduras again. <laughs> Give it a second try and hope it's good. All right, he's guessed, so I'm going to go for it as well. And it is Honduras this time, and we're both there, so <laughs> we went back for seconds, and we got it right this time. 68 points. Oh, it's so close. Come on. I can I can taste the victory. All right, our 12th round. Dot N-I. What is N-I? Oh, no. Okay, this is Spanish. Oh, is it Nicaragua? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, what is that going to be? I'm glad we had another language here, because I, I might have guessed something completely different. So he's gone for his guess. I'm just going to go Managua. And yeah, we both went there. Okay. So another four points. We're slowly whittling away to score. Oh, let's see. One of these rounds will be the one. Alright, what is the deal here? Okay, so we're driving on the left. Uh, looks pretty dry. Kind of thinking Africa here, maybe? Something out in the in the savannas of Africa. Ooh, this... Uh, I'm not sure. This could be something like... Namibia, Angola, you know, somewhere around here. Either that or we're going to be farther north. I, I can't really tell. Alright, he's made his guess. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in Namibia. Right here, close to Angola. Let's see. Oh no, it's Zimbabwe. Okay, great guess from Zigzag there. So we picked up some more points, but we're still in the lead here. We still have the advantage. Hopefully round 14 is the one. Let's see. Alright, we got some more language here. I think that's Georgian again, if I'm not mistaken. Where'd the Caucasus go? Here it is. <laughs> is that more Georgian or Armenian? I think more Georgian, with the with the more, like, curved parts. So, he's guessed we're up in the mountains. Let's go, let's go right there. Oh, how's he, how's he done that? <laughs> he's found Kvareli. Wow, impressive stuff there. Impressive. All right, so that was not the round. Now let's see if 15 is the one. Here we go. All right, language, language, anything. Thangruma. Bazaar. Oh, definitely going to be, I think, India here. I feel like it's saying the city name on these signs, and I just, I don't know what that is. Miz, Mizoram, yeah, what is that? I feel like I'm missing something, or that I just, I just don't know, so... I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Northern India, I, I hope this is right. Really don't know here. Alright, let's see what he does, come on, come on. Oh no, it's India, but it's all the way there, that's a state? No, dude, I threw it, I threw the lead, oh my god, you are kidding me. Ah, oh, I was doing so well there, man. Uh, I would say Nepal, maybe. Why do I still think Nepal? No, right hand drive. Tanzania? No, not Tanzania, I'm right hand drive. Look at these plates. Where is this? I have no idea. I have no idea. Tangruma grocery store. India, maybe? No, driving right. Where, where am I thinking here? I don't know. We're in Mizoram. Oh, it is like a, it is Modi. It's Modi here. Why are we driving right? I think we're actually driving left, to be honest. Mizoram, can we find that? Is that too risky? I'm going for it. Oh my gosh, actually was, dude. Is this gonna be it? 
Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Oh, let's go. Another win. 380. The comeback. I can't believe it, bro. Yo, GG. Wow. Oh, my so God. Close. Dude, quite the comeback there. Well done. I, I, I had, like, the, the motorbike threw me off so much. Hey, it was, looked like it was driving right, no? Yeah, I was, I was really confused there. The only thing that made me go India was the picture of Modi that I found. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I went that side of the country is because, like, I couldn't see any, like, uh, script languages, and I think sometimes they use Latin ones out there. Latin-based alphabet, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, well done. Uh, that was... That was crazy. Yeah, I was, I was seeing that word Miseram everywhere, and I was like, oh, that sounds so familiar, but I, I just didn't Likewise. know what it was. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I didn't know what it was either. I got Man. lucky there. GG's, GG's. Wow, wow. GG, GG. Okay, we're doing a third game here. Hopefully I can uh, get a win here and not throw my lead like I just did there. So, first round here. Uh, I've seen this Ari before. I don't know where it is. We're driving on the right. Looks like maybe Africa somewhere. Seems kind of mountainous over there, which is interesting. Yeah, pretty tall mountains here. Okay, what's that going to mean for us? We do have some tropical plants. Uh, so, it, within Africa, what could this be? Maybe Ethiopia? Do they drive on the right? I think they do. I think they do. <laughs> I just wish we could see some language here. That would be really helpful for me, but I don't see any here. Just with the mountains, Ethiopia is my, my top choice here. I'm not sure if this landscape fits, but I, I think I could see it being around there. But what else? What else in Africa? You don't really get such tall mountains out this way, except for like Cameroon and the volcanoes and all that. Uh, I'm gonna go for it here. Let's, let's see what Zigzag does. I'm honestly not confident here, so let's see. Oh no, so bad. It's Cabo Verde, wow. Okay, so we only lose 600, not, not a devastating loss there, but he did go farther west, so there we go. All right, second round. Oh, really blurry photosphere here, okay. Let's see, looks like Latin script there. Kind of feels vaguely European in a way. So, if that's the case, uh, this could be, again, Bosnia, maybe Kosovo. I'm gonna click right here in Sarajevo to start. I'm a little worried we could maybe be out in the Caucasus, but I don't think so. I lean a little bit more towards the Balkans here, so... Uh, let's see, can I get lucky three times with Bosnia? Oh, man. Hopefully I'm not throwing this guess, let's see. Oh, it is the Caucasus. Terrible. Okay, okay, so we're not doing so hot this game. Zigzag's got a pretty good lead to start out here. Man, alright. Round three, we gotta come back from this. Okay, nice high quality photosphere here. Looks tropical, we can see water out this way. Kinda feels maybe more South Asian here. Got some like canoes down there. Oh, he's guessed already, oh no, oh no. <laughs> uh, what to do, crap. Oh, this, I don't know what to do, Timor? It is Timor, I was trying to get there and then I was just ran out of time. Oh, uh, okay, okay. This is not good. Not good at all. Alright, fourth round. Looks Caribbean from what I'm seeing, but let's see. This might be the same car. Is this the Barbados one? It's that same blue one. Let's see if it is. I'm gonna go for it. Come on, come on. Nice, it is the same car. Okay, so we're getting some points back there. That is excellent. Exactly what we wanted to see happen there. Okay. Things are, some things are a little more even now. Let's go to the fifth round. Uh, wow, beautiful architecture here. Really, really nice. Oh, we do have some language here. What is all this? Yeah, it looks like another Caucasus script. Might be might be Armenian this time. But yeah, I can definitely see this being out in the Caucasus somewhere. I'm gonna go for Armenia here. He's guessed, so let's see. It is, okay. He went for Georgia that time, so maybe pick up a little bit of points there. Yeah, a couple hundred. That's not bad. We take it. All right, on to round six. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Looks like we're driving on the right. Okay. A little bit of English here, city, city bat. Definitely thinking Africa somewhere. It seems like it might have a little bit of a French influence as well with the Paris baguette. Also this language up here and the Poles too. Phew, so somewhere in Africa that drives on the right with English and French. Let's think, I'm, I'm thinking somewhere West African, maybe, maybe Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Ivory Coast. Uh, let's see. Hopefully it's not like the first Africa where, where he screwed me over with the Cabo Verde. Uh, we'll see though. Three seconds left. Oh, it is actually there. Nice. Okay, so we pick up some more points there. That is huge for us. Ooh, okay, okay. We are ahead now. Hopefully I don't throw like I did in last game. Okay, we got a sign here. Oh no, oh no. What is this? This sign seems almost like Australian or New Zealand. Driving on the left. Oh no. 
Land bridge? Captain Cook Landing. Oh no. Oh, what could this be? Is it the Cook Islands? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is not good. I feel like this is the kind of round zigzag nose. I, I think it's in his neck of the woods out in Oceania. Because this the words here almost remind me of Maori in New Zealand. Oh, what to do, what to do. I don't know what to do. It can't be those Cook Islands. Is it something like Micronesia? I, I, I'm trying to think of where Captain Cook went. I, I don't know. This is, this is not good at all, man. Ancient tombs, rainforests. No, these distances are too far for Micronesia. <laughs> He's guessed. I don't know what to do. Fiji? I'm gonna leave it on Fiji. I have no clue here. I hope he doesn't know this. Oh, it's Tonga. Okay. Is that enough? No, not quite, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Where did he end up? Oh, he did go for the Cook Islands. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't alone there thinking that. Okay. Okay. Round number eight, I think. Looks kind of Middle East here. Uh, maybe Egypt again? Mushireb. Oh, that sounds familiar. Is that the Egypt flag? I think so. I'm gonna go for it. I feel like I might have been too trigger happy there. Oh no, come on, come on. No, I was trigger happy. Okay, there goes my lead a little bit, losing some points. Uh, no, we still got the lead. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. That was uh, Qatar. All right, round nine, Baku. That's uh, Azerbaijan. Okay, I'm just gonna send it. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't. Maybe he panned around this way and didn't see that. But no, there's there's no shot. I'm grasping at straws for anything for him to miss this. Yeah, yeah, he's got it as well. Okay. All right, I lose seven points there. Let's just go to round ten. Come on, come on. Okay, South Africa, Windhoek. Okay, this is a pinpointable Namibia round. So we're on the B1. That's there. Okay. Keatsman something. Keatsman's Dorp is north. Okay, so we're farther south of that. Any other signs? Oh, I can't see that, but there's something ending in Berg south. Could be Karasberg. Okay, so Noor, Noor Dorwer is south there. We could be at this junction. That looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully he doesn't find it, and he's a little bit too far away, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm pretty confident that's a 5k, though. We'll see. Yes, okay, I got it. He he was also pretty close. Um, or no, we both guessed there. We didn't 5k at all. Oh. <laughs> I thought I had it there. Nope, never mind. Okay, round 11. Okay, okay. Oh, man, we're, we're out here in the Caucasus again. Looks like Georgian script. All right. Alpine... Can't read that. Mountains. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to build a sea here. Oh, this is this is another close, intense game. It could really go either way at this point. Oh, okay, it is over in Kutaisi. So he gets another hundred or so points. 66. That's fine, that's fine. Around 12. It's just whoever screws up first, it's game over. Alright, here we go. Round 12. Oh. This feels like Malaysia almost, so we could be in like Brunei or something. It definitely gives me these like Borneo vibes in a way. Oh, he's guessed. Okay. That's my best idea I've got. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. How did he get it? Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I threw, I've thrown again. Hopefully I just come across some meta here that I, that I know. Oh, I think it's Myanmar maybe, or something like that here. Oh no, 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 we got, we got African looking people here. So, oh, the Africa, oh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, we got to get in here quickly. So this one is a uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. That's right. And so it's a fairly main road. So I'm thinking of Kinshasa here. I am. Uh, it could be elsewhere in the country. If he can get that, then we'll play that. I think I think I just got to guess the capital here. Hope he hasn't seen it. Oh, let's go. It was Kinshasa. Uh, yes, it was. And uh, right on the river there. GG's, man. Dude, oh my god. <laughs> there, there, was a, there was a flag in that round. Was there really? I didn't even yeah, see. Yeah, there was like a flag behind one of the walls. It was like small and I, <laughs> I, I had to go for it quickly. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> GG's. Well deserved there. Well played. I mean, to be fair, like... I've played this map, uh, I didn't get many repeats, but I've played this map a lot. This was home ground advantage, and you played much better than I did when I first uh, came across it, so well played to you. Awesome, thank you. Great, great guesses there, man.
thank you. Th Likewise, those last two games were so fun and back and forth. Dude, yeah, that was insane. I it, it really could have gone either way there. Oh, man. Well, thank you so much for coming on the channel. I really appreciate it, and thanks for the games. Amazing work. Thanks for having me on, CG. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Of course. All right, well, that's all for the duels. Thank you guys so much for watching, and again, make sure to go check out ZigZag's channel and the video we recorded over there. But until next time, thanks again for watching, and I will see you later.